The United States of America, the land of the free, the land of opportunity, of the Liberty Bell and the Taco Bell. Here in the UK, we buy into a lot of their creations. We like their movies, their festivals and their fast food. But what we don't really go in for is their cars. It's strange because we had no problem adopting the USA's love for the SUV. In fact, they're now one of the most popular types of car in the UK. But out of all of the models you can buy here, none are truly American. Why is that? To find out, I've got my hands on a proper all-American SUV imported by luxury car dealer Clive Sutton. And here it is, the Cadillac Escalade. For those that don't know, this is one of the most respected vehicles in the States. Just as at home being driven by Kim Kardashian as it is protecting the president, the Escalade is a symbol that, in one way or another, you, my friend, have arrived. I mean, honestly, how many other cars can boast a 36-speaker AKG sound system, a naturally aspirated 6.2 V8 engine and an onboard drinks cooler all in one package. And that's not it either. See this screen up here? 38 inch curved OLED display. It's so big that those in the back could watch television on it. But then of course, they don't need to because well, they've got their own screens. You've also got luxuries such as optional night vision to help you see in the dark, augmented reality sat-nav for those tricky side turnings, and a 360-degree camera range covering every last angle on the car. Now, admittedly, none of this is particularly new on European SUVs. For example, Mercedes-Benz first debuted night vision back in 2005. Also, some of the material quality in here, it isn't quite what you'd expect from a car that's on sale for £140,000 in the UK. The buttons on the steering wheel, for example, well, they remind me of those from a previous gen Vauxhall Mocha. And the indicator stalk feels like it's been made out of a recycled carton of Kool-Aid. Hmm. For the most part though, this is a ginormous step forward and it is far, far nicer to sit in than any Escalade that's come before it. I can honestly say that I'd be happy spending a lot of time in this cabin. And the surprises keep coming. No longer does the Escalade make do with a Heath Robinson suspension setup involving a live rear axle. Instead, it's showing off completely independent air suspension teamed with a forward-facing camera that detects and prepares the car for upcoming bumps and undulations in the road surface. Now, I don't want to comment too much on the ride comfort of this particular Escalade because for whatever reason, someone decided that 22-inch wheels that come as standard weren't big enough and that what it really needed was 24-inch rims. So that does mean that it can get a bit crashy in places. But if you find a smooth, well-maintained motorway, this thing is in a league of its own. I mean, I just feel so protected from everything else out there in the world. I'm driving around in my own bulletproof cocoon. I mean, there's a 420 brake horsepower, 6.2 litre naturally aspirated V8 sitting just a few feet in front of me now. And honestly, I can't hear it. I mean, if you stand next to the car when it's idling, yeah, you can hear it gently ticking over. But when you're cruising along like now, seriously, it's like it's just not there. Naturally, the Escalade isn't as fast as some of its European rivals, 
but then a 5.9 second 0 to 60 mile per hour time in something that weighs over 2.7 tons is more than enough to turn heads and send you clear of the paparazzi. It's also enough to warrant a fuel tank that's almost three times the capacity of, say, your average Honda Civic. Coming in at 129 litres, it costs around £190 to brim from empty and will chug through all of that fuel at an average rate of 17 miles per gallon, if you're lucky. And now we get on to the real elephant in the room. And trust me, I use that phrase very deliberately because the Escalade is, well, quite big. Very big, in fact. It's so big that you have to rethink where you take it compared with a normal car. Width restrictors? No, forget it. Find another route. Multi-story car park? Not a chance. I mean, you can take it through an automatic car wash, of course, but just be aware you will be wearing it on the way out. To give you some figures, the Escalade ESV is 1.94 meters high, 2.06 meters wide, and 5.77 meters long. A full-size Range Rover only comes in at just over 5 meters. There's only one production car in the world that's longer than this, and it happens to be a long wheelbase Rolls-Royce Phantom. You really do have to think of it size-wise as an extremely luxurious lorry. To be honest, 3,600 litres of luggage space is enough for this car to double up as a removal lorry. And even then, if that's not enough, then the 3.6 tonne max towing weight means that you could simply drag your house along behind you and I don't think anyone would notice. It's so ludicrously large that drivers in other SUVs suddenly seem small. As you drive along, you get a, a different perspective. You see over walls and fences that you couldn't see over before because you just weren't that high off the ground. If you subscribe to the theory that biggest is best, then well, surely this has got to be your ultimate car. There's no denying that the Cadillac Escalade was not designed for the UK market. It's obscene, it's brash, it's wholly inappropriate, and in truth, European rivals such as the BMW X7 and Mercedes-Benz GLS are still better cars. But here's the thing, you don't spend six figures on a luxury SUV unless you want to stand out, unless you want to make a statement, unless you want to blow everyone else out of the water. And the Escalade, it allows you to do that using one of the oldest methods in the book. Or love it or hate it, people will pay for this level of sheer obnoxious presence. And that's what this thing is absolutely dripping in. And if you want to be a cut above the rest, then what better way to do it than to literally be above the rest?